Daisy Bates was a black civil rights activist and a newspaper publisher, born in Huddock, Arkansas, November 11, 1914. She wrote extensively about the battle to end of segregation in Arkansas. When Bates joined the civil rights movement, she became the president of the Arkansas AACP in 1952. She played a huge role in the fight toward the desegregation in Arkansas. During the mid-1960s, Bates returned to Little Rock and spent her time doing community programs until her husband Lushius Christopher's death in 1988. Soon after, Bates restarted her and her husband's newspaper. Bates continued her work until her death on November 4, 1999 in Little Rock, Arkansas. Bates also helped the Little Rock Nine to integrate a then all-white Central High School in Little Rock. The children arrived at the school on September 4 and were met with a group of angry white protesters, including the governor, Orville Fabus, who opposed integration. The governor sent the Arkansas National Guard to help prevent the students from integrating the school. Despite the governor's anger, the Nine continued on. Bates' home was like a headquarters for the Battle of Integration. She advocated for the Little Rock Nine students on their first day of school. They faced harassment and intimidation, but Bates was still there for them. Years later, Bates moved out of Little Rock to Washington, D.C., where she worked for the Democratic National Committee and worked on anti-poverty projects. During the mid-1960s, Bates returned to Little Rock and spent her time doing community programs until her husband Lushius Christopher's death in 1988. Soon after, Bates restarted her and her husband's newspaper. Bates continued her work until her death on November 4, 1999 in Little Rock, Arkansas.